While there are many different devotional practices centered around Mary, the Mother of God, you might consider starting a Mary Garden as a special way to also incorporate the beauty of creation. Mary Gardens date back to the Middle Ages. In their contemporary form, they typically feature an image of Our Lady as well as various flowers and plants that encourage us to reflect on our faith and on the lives of Jesus and Mary. Start with whatever space you have available. You could set up a Mary Garden in a corner of your yard, or if you're limited on space, you might consider planting yours in one or more containers on your patio, balcony, or windowsill. The next thing you'll want to do is find an image of Mary to include in your garden. Statues are the most common option, but if you don't have one, you could get creative and use something like a laminated prayer card or metal. Just make sure your image is one that can withstand the elements. After you have your image, choose the plants you want to include. Some traditional symbolic options include marigolds, rosemary, roses, lilies of the valley, impatience, carnations, violets, and forget-me-nots. You don't need to limit yourself to these, but try to include plants that are suited to the space you have for your garden, as well as those that seem suitable for honoring the Blessed Virgin. As a general rule, if it's a plant you would not be ashamed to give as a gift to your earthly mother or grandmother, it's probably suitable for your berry garden. You could start your plants from seed if you want to, but if it's late in the growing season or if your gardening skills are somewhat limited, you might consider choosing to start with plants purchased from a local garden center or nursery. Some gardens also include accents meant to represent your prayer requests or an aspect of faith. For example, you might place a pebble in your garden for each mystery of the rosary. After you have your garden set up, all that's left to do is take care of it and take time each day to meditate on it. Hopefully, your merry garden will help you reflect on the beauty of God's creation and the beauty of a heart that seeks God's will. And as you continue tending to your garden, it may also inspire you to follow Mary's example in devotion to Christ.